Is the story you're about to see true? Well, no one really knows. No one as yet has been able to prove or disprove it. And so it remains in limbo, a part of that vast, uncharted world of psychic phenomena beyond our powers of explanation. And a lonely place, with the rusty old railroad track long since abandoned, and which, as you can see, ends there. Nowhere. Or is it nowhere? Is this apparently godforsaken place? Perhaps not the beginning of a world that most of us don't suspect at all. Or completely overlook. Boy! You, boy! It's her. It's her, and I'm not going to miss it this time. Callie. Callie, did you hear that? What, Grandpa? It's her. was her this time. Yeah, we must have just missed her. Hey, boy. Hey. Where you been, Grandpa? Oh, out. chance it was original. What? Never mind. Eat your breakfast and shut up. Sure, sure. Eat my breakfast. Cut that out! You said to eat my breakfast, so I'm eating my breakfast. See? I want raisins. You can't have raisins. I won't eat it without raisin. Oh, don't then. You said I didn't have to eat it. Eat it! I want raisins on it. Can't have raisins on cornflakes, stupid. Raisins go on mush. I don't care, I want raisins. You little stoop, you. Now listen, you boy, you. I told you, in the winter you have mush with raisins. Get it? I like raisins on corn. Oh, milk. how do you know? You never even had it. Oh, yes, I did at that camp that time with Grandpa and that man. He's stopping. That man's stopping. Ain't nothing but a bill. For you, Mama. Package from him again. Meaning some old thing we got no use for. Open it quick, Ma. Open it. Yeah, hurry up. What you think I'm doing? Oh. Well, what? What's it for exactly? Tell you what it's for exactly. To get me hot and mad, I ever married him, that's what it's for. Look at that five dollar price tag still on the bottom. Not a word of writing or a check for months. Ma, Ma, it's mine, isn't it? Say it's mine. What? Look, Ma, the book. The beautiful book. Please say I can have it. You've got to, Ma. It's the only beautiful thing in a hundred months. I want it. Why can't I have it? Don't listen to 
to that specific mark? It's mine. I could cut it in half and make two. But I guess it's better to have one good thing than two piddling. It's going to be another sizzler. any raisins. Oh, Kelly, why don't you tell him the truth? Ain't any raisins left. That's not the point. He's got to learn. In the winter, you have mush with raisins. In the summer, you have cornflakes with milk. For heaven's sakes, Kelly. Just he's got to learn. Somebody's got to teach him. What do you got to have that old stove burning for on a hot day? I'm dying. You're goofy. You're fresh. I'm dying or okay, sure, for school play. It's gonna be red. I don't know. Maybe when it's dry, it'll be passion red. What? Nothing stupid. What is dye made out of, Kelly? Beet juice. It is not. I ought to know I made it. Did you really, Kelly? How? Easy. Just beet juice and a pinch of salt. What's the salt for? Stupid. Anybody knows you always add a pinch of salt. Pinch out! Pinch out! Mama, something's got to be done about that boy. Kelly, you go get that boy and get him in here to finish his breakfast. Yes, Ma. on Feeding that mangy old stray cat. It's nothing but canned milk and water. Oh, Callie, Callie, Callie. You want to answer your old grandpa something? I got time. Dishes aren't done. Why are you always making out of that little lad like you're so tough? I am tough. I'm hard as nails. And the sooner I teach him how to be the same, the better off he'll be. Who told you that? You don't have to answer. Nobody told me. I got eyes. Grandpa, you're old enough to see yourself that sissy boy's just got to wake up to facts. Raisins on cornflakes. He don't half know the hard facts of life. Oh, yeah. The hard facts of life. Go ahead. Make fun. Callie, I gotta tell you one little thing, dishes or no. Go ahead. Well, it's about this ugly old world we got ourselves into. Now, I, I admit that looking off from where we sit, it don't look much. It's kind of sad, even. It's sad and terrible. But then, if a person takes the time to look real careful and listen hard... Look. Look. 
Look at here, cowgirl. No. Look. Pink and orange and yellow where the sun kisses it. Oh, I know that old crow got an ugly, harsh old voice. But listen. Listen now. You listen real hard. What do you hear? Wild quail? Sweet. Sweet, isn't it? Oh, Callie, there's, there's plenty of beautiful things around for them as has the patience to look and listen. Callie, come on in and finish the dishes. Look. You look and listen. Little Dipper. Big Dipper. See him? See him? Where, Grandpa? Where? Up there. They're all there. They just, uh, just sort of move around, I reckon. Moving around, boy. Now, that's one of the best things in life. And you take that from a traveling man. Boy, you gonna come in here and clean up this mess of glue and tape you made? Sure, Ma, in a minute now. Tell about it again. I used to travel to different states and cities, big cities, like Topeka and Omaha. Oh, sure, sure. You mean when I was engineer of the Silver Street? Yeah, that's when. Oh, you mean when I used to take that train of mine along the tracks before they tore up all that section, take her along 60, 70, 80, 90 miles per. Where's the fastest train in the world? Clear about. <laughs> In them days, anyway. <laughs> the engineer of the Silver Street. Yeah. <laughs> you should travel. You know it. Beautiful things I see in tombs. Lakes. Big lake water as far as I could see. And blue. Blue as the sky. Blue as Callie's bottle of poster paints. Grandpa, you going to keep this boy out here all night? Just a little bitty more, Ma. Oh, no, Nan. The boy likes to hear about the old days. Grandpa was the engineer. He was the engineer's brakeman. That's what he was. Ma, why do you always have to spoil everything? Well, he was. Anyway, what do you want to talk about all that nonsense? That... Oh, come on, come on. You get to bed, boy. I cleaned up your mess for you. Now, go on, get to bed. Yes, Grandpa. I believe you. I believe he was the engineer. I only meant I didn't want to... It's all right, my dear. It's all right. Your ma thinks I'm getting so old. What she don't notice is that she's getting old faster than me. She's kind of forgot how when she was just a little thing, her and her grandma used to sit up nights waiting for the old Silver Street to go by. And how when I'd be gone for a few days, I'd toot them a signal. Too long, three short. Too long, three short. Oh, oh that was the days. We used to have some good times, Callie. Your old grandpa, he lived a full life. Sometimes I... I almost think I had more than my share. Grandpa, what did you ever get? Nothing, that's what. Listen. Listen, do you hear that? Hear what? Shh. What do you hear, Grandpa? Yes, silly. Sometimes, every now and then, it seems to me like I... I hear my dear old Silver Street coming to get me. Toot, 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 toot. Coming to take me home. Grandpa? You are home. Are you going somewhere? Oh, don't you worry, boy. 
Your old grandpa's never going to get away from here without saying goodbye to you. And that's a promise. <laughs> Hard as a rock. Couldn't even grow a turnip on it. Just about the lousiest land anywhere. Still and all, I like it. That's because you've never seen any place else. Have you, Gally? It's got nothing to do with it. In geography. Oh, what's the use of telling a dumb boy? Now, if you were Mary Agnes, oh, that sure was a mean thing of parents taking her off to live in Kansas City. I guess Mary Agnes was about the only real close friend you ever had. If Mary Agnes was here, I'd be only too happy to tell her about geography. Lovely places like Vermont or Connecticut, where green grass grows under big trees, and winds from the ocean make everything smell divinely salty. Why is salty divine? Oh, shut up! Grandpa, he, he has stroke. Stroke? Kelly. Good girl, Kelly. Grandpa, I don't want you to be sick. Goodbye. Darling. Grandpa, Grandpa, wait. Wait, Grandpa. We're boy. These old raisins won't keep if someone don't eat them. That's the brand new box. Callie only bought it yesterday. Hot weather. They don't keep. Son, you cleaned up that sink for me real nice for a little boy. Oh, not such a little boy after all. You're the man of the house now. You're taking things real good. Shut up, you mean, you little cat. Think someone's gonna feed you? Well, you better learn. Nobody keeps promises. Nobody. Nobody. If it's Grandpa's promise to me about going away and not saying goodbye. Huh? Do you think I care?
Wasn't it super? I bet nobody would be able to believe it. We won't tell them. We won't tell anybody. Because they won't believe it. But who cares? We know. You and me. It's just between us. Do you mean a secret like you and Mary Agnes had? Just between friends? What else? Now that Grandpa's gone, you have to have some friend, don't you? Gosh, Callie. Thanks. I like you, too. It's nothing. Just don't let it go to your head. Now get inside there, boy, before you catch cold. Thanks, Grandpa. Thanks ever so much. It's a well-known fact that the desert land produces all types of mirages. It is also true that sounds have been known to carry over great distances on the dry desert air. But have you ever heard of a mirage that makes a sound like that? In any event, the children will sleep well tonight. For the young, do not question that which is miraculous.